with the with the with the gem over on the CM she knew it. and the crystal maiden they're actually they're, they're not actually doing it top lane. Uh, yeah it's all distraction KOXY takes out the tier three tower on the top fortified. lane the rock has been pushed out but Johnny's got his back so uh Kerchik will be fine and Wraith keeps keeps going he's man mining up Rage against burning now with the abyssal blade number one but remember burning's got one of his own KOXY will drop they still haven't taken out the bottom racks they're giving it That's a shot and KOXY he's almost doing it he's done it the melee racks is down the top Radiant he shall give his life for the gone. cause while on bottom lane Luo trying to run away from Mushy the attack is almost enough down to 99 HP Mushy they force up and wait with the glimmer cape the buybacks come out from Wraith King he TP it towards the mid lane they cop the Yule Scepter chasing out the Crystal Maiden how long can she survive oh. the Ghost Scepter not protecting her she'll drop the gem and now did Wraith King or anyone come back with any new items Wraith do they King keep did going refresh in the base he used his refresher to keep it back okay. they're still pursuing jump out Faith Ohio they get the stuff but now the death water as well Johnny the great position in the trees oh, the, the tribe back out burning Faith Chuan also low it all bounces down maybe this is the moment but the buybacks are available Ferrari beating Crystal Faith into a pulp we've actually got Luo as well running away from Mushy Luo is about to die the cops gonna push it back Mushy double burn he actually needs to actually be burning to survive this one Luo on the other side he's trying to use the side blades to attack Luo inside the tree line the hook shot out meanwhile Ferrari running away but Johnny with a base attack kills him off we're back into the other fight KYXY burning he's still got called out let's a rip but Mushy he's got the damage output or does he he's held in position for the moment they're backing out of here the sigil is just watching IG and KYXY and they go get drawn and the side blade Popping the leaner into the shards, controlling up. There's no more buybacks available here for IG. Have Fnatic won this on money? It is impossible. Still with five heroes alive. Ferrari back to front line, pushing down for the count. Now we can buy those rapiers, or at least bring them to the fight. He is actually one, two rapiers. In for Mushy, he's on the way. And he's bringing the deeps. Wait for it, Mushy. Where is it? There's the head. Where's the sideways damage? Triple cell. JJ. 97 minutes and 45 roughly seconds will be the victory here for Fnatic over Invictus Gaming, getting a 1-1, two draws for TI5. And there's a new message from the Valve. This is monkey business, it's time to make a move for sure. But where do they go? The Hawk still sees Loda, now it's actually going to burn out. Loda doesn't get the money for it, so he doesn't know it, but they initiate on no cell. He got the Necro Book stop, but how much work can they do? Sorry, yes, yes. Three seconds till they can do that, but Admiral Bulldog, the first position until the follow up back to his left. There's no more protection as well. You've lost a one for one. No tail did end up dropping, and now you've still got oh, Miracle Lord, going I'm... to work again through the unkillable Loda. Best that fish just done, it's gonna be there. Not something taking even more damage and more cannon. Bring him down to practically zero life. Now, there's a strike. No, they pull out of it. There's more jumps board again for another searing chain, but the fish just done connects on the Alchemist. He'll mana style up. Trying to push back the rest of Punky with a fleet form from Nortel. The back wall from Admiral Ball is going to do some work. Arcade okay, into that death ward. But then again, how much damage they really have for the snowball coming forward. There's nothing really more for Alliance to give. Loader can be on the front lines. Not will die underneath his own tier 4 towers. And Loader is being necro booked down. He was battling up against the Dazzle only. He'll get the kill over on Nortel, which is great for Loader with a man of illusions. Okay, he's gonna get himself away. Just now, he bought a rapier and he pops satanic and he healed for like a thousand five hundred HP in one kick. And I was like, what the hell just happened? That would explain why uh, uh, RK died so early. <laughs> yeah. Did you know uh, when he was when he was getting solar crested on that tower siege, the acid spray did nine damage a tick on him. Nine damage. That's not how you st stop the push. Oh, they got, they got the agonims. They gave the agonims to the witch doctor. Oh, nice. That's, this is what they're going that's, for. That's, yeah. that's what Loader picked up. He doesn't have his death ward for another eight seconds. They have to wait a little bit longer. Up they're, they go. they're up again, I guess. We do oh. back back in Miracle. He's in range of the tower. And maybe this Rapier can turn things around. The Shallow Grave is a panic. There's so much work. Arcade get back in home. Miracle is still tanking the bloody mountain. He's still alive through all of this. Loader can't do any more damage. Miracle again, he still has Aegis Immortal as well. They are full sprinting a line that's off with this Rapier. Monkeys will take him out in the fountain. That is it. Alliance, GG, they're out. Monkeys will take it 2 1. Yep. There it is. AK match making points. The, the AK on Monkey has suppressed. Hey, look off. Medusa still has that Rapier queued up, you know? He was.
passing the secret shop, had 3.8k gold and didn't buy it. I mean, there's oh, no hello. really Reeves no reason just gone in. to go for it. Mind Control's got a nice little crush in the middle of them all. Boom, dropping low, but they've got the disarm onto Wii. No more right clicks, no more damage, and Kuroki force promising himself, looking for the snipe of the celery. Can he get one more? Purifying flames to take out uh, poor little Lich, but it is Viking on the rampage. They are looking forward for more targets. No lasso, but they've got a flame break and a sticky nape bomb up to five, six stacks. That is just utter desperate range now, Sam. Okay, he's nearly all oh, hello. Lasso to the court. Mix Assassin. He does have carapace, and he's got a lot of HP to work with here, so turns and runs as Battle Rider's initiation comes to naught. Huskar will jump him, though, next with a good three-man stun to really lock down Rosham for this rapier Medusa who shreds the Battle Rider in a couple of clicks and my control desperate to catch the Huskar he has the Omni healing and buffing but the right click damage is just too <laughs> much to work up against and another stun comes out from Nygma to stop the stick charges but she's just gonna stand her ground also stone gaze is available like how the, you can't initiate on this Medusa miracle stands forward has Aegis rapier you can't go past her you can't go through her you can't go on her what what do you have left? Look at that, she hits once. <laughs> like 10% of Shad and RMS's HP goes. Another carapace onto that split earth. Wonderfully done by GH. MVP so far on this next, but a chain frost bouncing in is well placed and well timed for the face edict. The uh, magic community for mind control is beautiful. Shad is deep in behind enemy lines, but Toby. Oh my god, that oh. damage. Miracle, Mystic Snake, and a couple of clicks. That is it for you. No TP this... cancel for Wii. This is nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Hoskar doesn't even have Halberd yet. He doesn't have a way to stop this. As lo like, look, look at the concave. The concave from Nygma is here. They've got four heroes all surrounding the Medusa who is frontlining, and there is like no entry point at all for Viking. Okay, you've stunned the Medusa. Full mana yet again from Mystic Snake. Congrats, now what? Another Mystic Snake? Oh, don't mind if I do. I'll go back up to full mana again and you've wasted all your bloody spells. Lich, dead. Medusa, very, very strong. Oscar, static link up on him. I don't know what Boom can do apart from run and hide because Miracle is about to dive into your fountain. Shad is an inch away from death, stunned, but Guardian Angel at the same time. So the physical damage will be mitigated and stopped for now. They've stunned up Boom. He's going to run back into fountain, but he's going to just get right click to the triple killing monster machine that is Miracle mashing into the Viking heroes. GG is called. Give him a rampage, guys. Come out of your fountain and give the Rapier Medusa the rampage that she deserves. No? Okay, just give them the game then. You can hide in the tree's top, and then once Navi shows, which they have shown mid lane on Crystallize, that gives them all the information they need to continue pushing bottom oh, on Zai. Ulti, they're gonna get the spear oh. into it. Medusa is gonna take a ton of damage. That's no the fire combo again. Manta is on cooldown, but on the backside it will be Zai trying to right click him down. The Fisher to block him out. He might have actually blocked Matumba Man out. The ghosts are on top of him just doing so much damage. Magical goes down, Slayer goes down the backside. They're committing so much to Medusa, but he does finally go down. It's a two for two. Zai misses another timber chain. He is gonna just throw out that spirit siphon. Zai wands up blade mail of his own as well. There's the nice spear back spear. into the tree. This should be a kill on him well played by he does the last repair kit used on the rack so no more of those zai he's like sure i'd love to tank those up has the plus eight reactive armor stack so even tank here the lotus orb lift gets lower crystallize oh, oh so a little miss. bit of a miss there from nishi up with the spear back they find my man he is running out of mana so he doesn't have the most effective hp can they burst him out he mantas but there's the spirit seven now he's just gonna square up it's the wave that's the rapier the rapier is on the ground but pasha goes down who actually picked it up it's nisha what? nisha does there's a rapier on uh, the freaking floor does magical have it he does this boy does damage did they just toss it away uh, oh my goodness puppy he makes it out but magical is it the the Mars is the snap fire? Do you, do you want the snap fire one in this game or is it not no, very good? It's no, it's point okay. blank and you don't really have a hero that needs to go in okay. that way. Oh, but we might have the fight. They are smoked up. Magical on the backside. He might be found by himself. Oh my goodness, so they be able to bring him down. He does have that sense. He BKBs up. Will he just satanic and turn around? No, they're trying to get out of their posture. Medusa, gets up with he's the gone game. again. Medusa on the backside, as you say, getting gone. He's lost all his mana. He's satanic's up though. And there's the A on his proc. Both fights going on at once. They're turning it. Who's winning? It looks uh, like it might be crazy. 
Crystallize going to take so chance, but he eats the cheese. He makes it out. They link up together. There's going to be a silence. It's only used onto the timber saw. Bounty rune. Crystallize like, I'll be taking that. 950 experience from those outposts. There's going to be a spear. Nisha and next he does stun. Yeah, Nisha. He gets lifted up. Will he get thrown back? Oh, he's a timeless relic. He throws it back. Pasha, the first one to go down. They should bring down Nisha. There's the dunk from the Sword. Hits like a But Death probably gets fully healed from the ultimate coming back. And now Magical. He is by himself. Is he going to get run down here? He is. On. Timber Chain Magical is about to lose this Divine Rapier. There's the, the silence. silence, and there's his life. Stole the tree. Oh goes down. God, Magical goes game. down. Is that a double rapier? No. Nisha. Yeah, yeah. Monkeys that this are going to be right? sitting there doing it's, 800 damage. This is rough. Whatever. Magical doesn't even have that rapier. Has to buy a Chrysalis, but 34 damage compared to 330 is a big difference. There's going to be the ulti thrown. One tier 4 tower about to go down. Zai okay. chasing Slayer. There's going to be the ulti by Pasha. Yeah, Nisha does have that Aegis. They want to bring him down. Even just wants the Lotus Swords there. Pasha pushes them back with the Havoc Hammer. There's going to be the first life, but Pasha gets the are hitting the tier fours. He's dead, and they are. The tier fours just dying. Nisha won't be able to get his boundless strike up. He's throwing out his ulti, but he gets silenced. Now he BKBs. He's going to throw up the ulti finally. It's going to be in a giant AoE. It's looking like it'll be the end. Yapsor makes it out, and look at the how monkeys. big it is. It is just going to be the end as Chris Lies trying to defend such a well-played game by both teams, but there's one winner, and it is going to be secret. What a hell.